it's us Just me and you, baby, can I give up? Nah, nah. Looking for love, it's me and you, baby, can I give up? Nah, nah. What is poppin' guys? Welcome back to another lit video. As y'all seen the title right now, guys, this is not clip A. First of all, if you're new to our channel, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, turn on that notification bell, make sure you subscribe to our lit video. So, our Lambo did get repoed, guys. It did. We're not gonna lie about it. Cause I was like, yo, should we like post this? Should I post this video or no, right? And I even told Stephanie too. I was like, yo, like, I don't know. I don't think it's right we post it. But Steph is the one, I'm not gonna say making me, but she's making me think different. It's not that, it's just like, I just feel like we're human like everybody else. And honestly, like, I know there's other wifeys out there that, which I will take the blame, I didn't make the payment because we had Demi's birthday. So honestly, I feel like I was up and down and pretty much the payment was due on the 10th of June and Demi's birthday was on the 12th. We had a party at, on the 11th. So it was just a lot going on before that and I just didn't make the payment and so Pablo's over here getting a haircut and then he literally sends me a picture I'm like dude what the like, hell no and then after it's like you didn't make the payment huh I felt like shit I literally was at my dad's house and I literally took off and I went to the freaking go make the payment like oh before anything else happened and as it was you know it was meant to be you know they ended up taking the Lambo which I did feel so bad so I had to pick him at the barbershop but it is what it is and, but the struggles that we had to go through, even right now, like, we still haven't gotten it back, and it's been... Six days. Six days, and it's been the hardest thing of life. So if you guys have ever gotten your car repoed, please comment your story below, because it is the hardest shit, and I will think twice about ever fucking making a late payment. And it was on the 10th, and it, they literally towed it on the 22nd, which is, what, 12 days? 12, yeah, 12 yeah, days. Yeah, 12 late. days, and right now, like... I don't know, it's just crazy. Like, all the things that we're gonna tell you right now. Yo, yo, they are fucking taking my fucking Lambo because I haven't paid them for a couple days. Check this out, this is what's happening, guys. Make sure y'all do your fucking payment on time. Yo, guys, so they're taking my shit. Fuck. All right, guys, it's going. No. I was getting a haircut at the barber shop. And then all these barbers start looking at me and I'm like laying back because they're raising my lineup. They're like, yo, they're towing your Lambo. And I'm like, <laughs> I get up. I'm like, nah, you guys are playing. Like, you know, I thought they were pranking me. You know what I mean? And uh, so I get up and I do see it. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what's going on? You know? And I looked at the barbers and I'm like, nah, you guys are pranking me, right? When I went outside, I went off on the guy out because I thought he was like trying to jack my car. And I thought Stephanie... Uh, did the payment just so you guys know exotic cars it can be a day you will get your shit repo if you haven't done your payment yeah, yeah so they don't mess around when it comes to exotic cars guys so you know what i mean <clears throat> it is what it is it really took us six days back and forth friday i couldn't get it because thursday night we went out to what do we do thursday thursday oh we went to uh alondra alondra's uh hosting at carnaval <clears throat> so i woke up like at two in the afternoon with a hangover, yeah. you know what I mean? Crudo. Hell yeah. And the company that uh, financed the car to me, they're in New York. So they're already closed at that time. They're three hours ahead of us. So that was Friday. Saturday and Sunday, they're closed. So we had to wait till Monday. Yeah. Monday comes and I start doing all my movements. We called and pretty much are like, oh, well, you need insurance on it. Then we go to the insurance and they tell us, no, you need to go back to the Lambo and get the registration. So then we come all the way to Riverside, get the registration. We go back to um, to the insurance place and Paulo's literally like, oh my God, I just hope that it's valid. Why is it that we literally opened it and it expired on the 26th, which was a day Sunday. After. It was on Sunday and it freaking expired and it was just like what the hell it was like it's like it was, it's not even meant for us to be in the freaking lambo right now so then we had i had to literally get on the phone with the dmv and be like hey i need to pay my 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 tags and all that stuff my, for my registration i end up paying it and then we go back to the insurance and pretty much are like oh you know what we actually don't um accept exotic cars here and we're like what do you mean you guys just literally had us and they're like, yeah, well, I don't know who ended up doing your guys' thing, but they made it happen, but we're actually not allowed to. We ended up switching. Um, thank God we found um, 
one that did accept it because obviously it's a luxury car we called three companies and one of them finally accepted us and after then they let us know that we need to go to the sheriff's department and pretty much get a receipt a repo receipt a right? repo receipt so we literally have been at it for like oh my god no, then back and forth with the finance company that they need yeah. this, they need that, boom, boom, boom. And then pretty much since um, since I didn't make the payment, I literally had to be like a co-signer. So then they added me on the account, which it, that's not Jeez, how it really look was. at it, baby. It's Hold ready. It's Hold ready. on. Yeah, so it's right there waiting for us, guys. There it is, guys. We're picking it up. So then I had to be added to the account as a co-signer. Just like, they're kind of like, okay, well, we can't trust Paolo by himself. Even though if they only knew that. Me being a co-signer, I wasn't the one that made the payment. But whatever, I can blame it on Pablo. And then pretty much, you know, they were like, oh, well, now you need to pay three months ahead. Make a whole new contract, and it was just crazy. But now I know, like, we have a lot going on, and that was my fault. Uh, I did have a lot of negative comments on Instagram. People were saying, uh, yeah, right, you got your Lambo taken away. Y'all can talk whatever you guys want. The one that has a Lambo is us. We're not those type of people to say shit like that in comments. Yeah. But uh, other than that, we really don't care for all the negative shit and the, and, the, and, and the haters. We really don't care what you guys got to say. At the end of the day, it's us. Um, and that's it. Mistakes happen. Things happen. We're human. This is life. So pretty much the difference between us and people who do and say negative things is that we go through negative things, but we don't turn into negative people. Like, we're so blessed and loved, and this was not even a downfall. This was just a little hiccup. But like I said, we are not negative people. We are truly blessed. We have so much love around us. We have everything we ever dreamed of, and we're still working hard to get more. I wish this was a prank, you guys, because it would have been a fucking good one, but sadly it wasn't. All right, guys, so this is the end of the video as you guys seen right now. Shout out to everybody that's watching to the end of this video. Y'all the real ones. Get, we just dropped the Pablisi merch. Um, so I'm gonna leave it down in the description down below. You could order by DMing me uh, on Instagram on Pablisi underscore wear. Uh, but other than that, guys, peace. Bye, guys. Just me and you, baby, cannot give up